So guys, we did it. We survived this brutal, terrible, just not fun side event. This was just complete trash, man. I think that this goes down as probably the worst side event of all time. It was just not fun in the slightest. It had some redeeming qualities, like the rewards at least, but not even good rewards can save something so miserable. So let's dissect this event and let's just see what made it so bad, right? So first off, and this is something that is a bit picky, but still is a thing. This was based off of Gladiator and Gladiator is probably the most hated champion in the game right now. Um, he has like three fans. I am one of them, so I am in the minority for sure. But yeah, pretty much no one likes this guy. So having an event based off of him, already a bad start because no one wants to play it. And then additionally, giving him the worst AI in existence for the final boss fight made people hate him even more. So I'm not pointing fingers, but this side event kind of made people dislike Gladiator a lot more than usual. And then pair that with his, you know, very interesting release and you just have this dumpster fire of a month. But now let's talk about the actual structure of the event, which is of course still very problematic. So how it worked is you want to collect these keys and these keys are given to you in this solo event, which by the way, you complete the solo event pretty much on day one, but you have to wait every single day to collect each milestone. So that annoys me already because I know Kabam wants people logging in every day, but I don't think they realize that people do that pretty much regardless. Like the solo event isn't really a way to keep people logging in every day. It kind of just makes people hate the event even more, which is understandable because if I'm going to do this log fest, I kind of want to do it day one so I can just get it over with and enjoy my month instead of doing it day by day and just regretting my life choices so that is already one thing that i didn't like about it there was one month where the thing bugged out and you could do it all on day one and that was like paradise man because i got all the rewards in one day and there was just no stress at all so that solo event was you know whatever they do it all the time and i still don't like it but i understand why they do it and we collected up to 34 of these keys and these keys let you enter the gauntlet like quest right and each gauntlet quest has about five fights and so let's do some math 34 keys five fights per gauntlet and the opponents aren't that easy right they're not really easy in the slightest the last tier tier 8 has a really fun unstoppable colossus fight that you have to fight 34 times and he has be like water he has this they know it as well. I thought we were done with that, but apparently not. It's back in the side quest and you have to fight it 34 times. So it was a grand time for my like alt account. And for my main account, it wasn't that bad because of course it's my main account. I have a ton of champions on there, but having such an annoying fight for like the final boss of a side quest and not giving that much help either with like the nose and all that, it just made my alt account really struggle and i didn't really like that because most side quests they have nodes that help you but this colossus just wanted to end your career he didn't care about helping you at all no 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 he wanted to just make sure that you don't make it past him and i don't mind hard side quests if it's like a one-time boss fight like gladiator for example which by the way he wasn't even that bad he was way easier than the colossus but this Colossus you fight up to 34 times, which is, and he's not the only fight. There are four other fights in that Gauntlet quest. There is Quicksilver who is manageable for sure. There is Stormax who is pain because it's Stormax. Whenever Stormax is in a quest, I just want to quit out immediately because she is such a time stall. So there is also Terax who has no nodes, thankfully. There is Mojo who is doable for sure. And then there's a Colossus boss that just has every annoying node imaginable, which is fantastic. So structure wise, I didn't like it. I didn't like having to do a five fight quest up to 34 times for the side event. But thankfully, there is some incentive to do it because the rewards for the event were honestly pretty good. So for the quest rewards, you got some seven star shards, some six star shards, as well as some tier 6 basic, some tier 3 alpha, 
and some other stuff too. So for a per quest reward system, it wasn't too bad in the slightest. And additionally, there are some even better rewards in these side objectives. So the objectives gave you some other stuff such as awakening gems and even generic gems in the gladiator final tiers. So the gladiator fight, let's talk about that for a bit. This was one of the redeeming qualities for it in my opinion. Despite his really bad AI that just acts like an act 2 fight, he is a very fun fight, right? Because it's like a final boss. It's pretty cool. The structure of it, pretty nice. And he is by far the most rewarding thing in the side event because he gives you a generic gem and like 1,500 seven star shards. So this was a very nice time and he wasn't that difficult. I think the Colossus was even harder than this guy right here. Once you learn his special attacks and how to dex them, he becomes pretty straightforward. And even the tech objective wasn't that hard. It was just a bit annoying, right? Um, but yeah, his his whole thing was great. Like that part was great, despite it being Gladiator, which no one likes for some reason. Uh, it was still pretty great. But my biggest complaints for this event was just the structure of it. With like the 34 runs for the Gauntlet part, and then the 15 Gladiator fights, and then... The cherry on top was that you have to wait every single day to claim the keys. You can't just do it all at once at the beginning to just get it over with, right? But yeah, I don't want to see something like this ever again, for me at least. Um, a good one, a good gauntlet side event that I remember correctly is the Odin's Gauntlet. That one was fantastic. The Odin's Gauntlet was honestly so fun and it was a lot less fights if I remember correctly. So that is a good gauntlet event. This one was just super repetitive and really boring and honestly pretty painful at times with that dang Colossus. He was honestly such a pain. Uh, but yeah, I have like 20 runs to do on the main account. Will I do them? I don't know. It's good rewards, but it's also just super, super tiring and super boring. So I don't know if I even want to put myself through that, man. Like, I'll miss out on some 7-star shards, which is annoying. But I also save a ton of time, so I think it's a fair trade-off. This side event in October, though, looks pretty dang sweet. Like, getting Steve back is awesome, and it seems a lot less grindy than this one was. So yeah goodbye to this really really poor gladiator skull inside event i hope it never returns i want nothing to do with this event ever again please thank you very much um but let me know your thoughts on this event did you think it was good did you actually like it and yes about it for me